lunch, uh, both of you, really interesting to hear the work that society is doing. I don't think it existed in my day, I don't know, because it's only started post-pandemic. But look, it's an honour and privilege to be here, and I think MTs say that quite often, but it's true on <laughs> this occasion. And um, look, when I, and it's great to be here with Daniel, we took the train together. You've got a brilliant MP, can I say that? <laughs> best MP, apart from me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the second best, you have the best MP <laughs> questions on everything so you know trend in and keep him there and it's great to be here also in the presence of Alan Campbell who I remember getting elected it must be exactly 20 years ago soon isn't it 1992 yes because whenever the year has a two in it and actually this year has three twos in it but when it ends in a two it's profoundly depressing for me because that means a big birthday with a zero <laughs> anyway it's the new 30 isn't it yes it's the new 30 okay so look um, exactly 20 years ago that we got and um, it was 30 good as three sorry I, I did not do the last tripod so um, so yes, 30 years ago, goodness me, that really ages me. Um, and look, when I was a little thing at school in Ealing, you know, in some ways I'm immensely lucky, I pinch myself every day that I am Member of Parliament for my home seat, my school, both of my schools, primary and secondary in the school, in the seat, the constituency that I now represent. I would have never dreamed I'd be coming to a place like this back then, and then when I was here, I would have never dreamed that I would be a Member of Parliament with those hallowed initials MP after my name, but you know, I think Newland did give me the confidence to do all the things that I've gone on to do subsequently. And I remember my first job, I was an academic, so I kind of spent my life in universities from 1990 until 2015 when I was elected. I remember I used to cycle to the department at University of Manchester, my first academic job, although my leaflets say I've never left feeling, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll edit when that. I was there, I used to be tying up my bike in front of the department, and you know the other staff would tease me. But my boss would say, "Ah, oh, you can take the girl out of Cambridge, but you can't take Cambridge out of the girl." No, he was wrong. It was you can't take Newnham out of girls because there is a very specifically Newnham, isn't there, girls? A specifically Newnham way of doing things. So you come to Cambridge. There's a whole new nomenclature that you have to learn: JCR, MCR, SCR, BOP. Squat, uh, squashy, no, what was it? Sweaty, squash, all these. Do they maybe not have these words anymore? I'm talking 1990, I remember. Um, but then there's a whole new nomenclature as well. So there's Peel, Sidgwick, Clough was the one I was in, the longest corridor in Western Europe. So this is, you know, the Berlin Wall was just about falling when I was here. I think lots of people used to have a sort of thing that looked like a bit of chalk in a uh, jam jar, that they would say that's a bit of the Berlin Wall, honest, I don't know what it was, but every student had to have a bit of it, like they all had a Betty Blue poster as well in those days. So it was the longest corridor in Western Europe, because Europe wasn't all one, it, well, it's not anymore because we've gone, but um, so in those days, even the buttery, that was a new word to me, and I remember, I think in the holidays, my mum bought some Jacob's cream crackers and it said, new buttery taste, and I was like, buttery? new <laughs> <laughs> buttery in the Jacob's? So, you know, Newnham, I think it made us all who we are today. And I do have very special memories of 1990, 30 years ago, goodness me. Sorry, I'm losing it. I think I'm getting the same dementia my late mum had. So I do remember how to fight elections. I learned everything from that woman, people. So be nice to her and hang on to her. Because, you know, my first election, again, I think, Anne Campbell, you went from third, so did you, Dan. Both of these two pulled something off quite remarkable. They went from third to first. In your case, the Lib Dems had been the winner the time before. In your case, it was the Conservatives. And then the Lib Dems were second, so they leapfrogged. And in my case as well, it was when I grew up, it was Sir George Young, and he's a lord now, and I see him and we get on quite well, actually. He's, he's a decent bloke, not like, you know, the current leader of their party. But, um, you know, I've never imagined I would be an MP. And, and myself, I sort of um, overturned, we had a 13% percentage increase when I won. So it was a bit like both of these two. And I think everything I learned was from that 1992 election, the way that you identify your vote. Oh, sorry, there's Tories here. Maybe we shouldn't be sharing that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll not stop that. But Lucy Fraser's from tomorrow, isn't she? She's not in here. <laughs> so, you know, all 
those things about how you target your phone and also how you keep your electric there. Dan has built a huge majority, I think it's several times, again I didn't do math tripods, I won't say the number so it's wrong, but since your original majority of 500, what was it or something? 599, it's incredible. Oh, right. <laughs> That's more than twice what mine is 275. So, again, 599 looks quite big and yours is 575. I can't remember. <laughs> if you can't remember, you weren't really there. That's amazing. But anyway, look, um, yeah, just really honoured and privileged to be here. I really don't like the picture, I have to say. But, I mean, that's the House of Commons photographer. Um, so let's cast a veil over that. Um, I've also been texted on the train by Diane Abbott some words to say. I mean, Alison, you can read those out. No, 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 you can. You. This is genuine think... WhatsApp message. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's an actual old fashioned text, because both texts are old. <laughs> um, so she said, Are you going to Newnham? And I said, Yes. And she said, When is it? And I said, Four to six. Come before six. And she said, I won't be able to get there, but can you read out this on my behalf? Sorry, I need reading glasses at my age. The years have been very cruel to me. Okay, so it says, I'm very sorry that I cannot be with you this afternoon, but I wanted to say that Newnham was probably the most formative experience of my adult life. Everything that I went to do, including being Britain's first black woman MP, owes a lot to Newnham College, Cambridge. My parents were Jamaican immigrants who both left school at 14 and came to this country in the early 1950s. They wanted what was best for me, but it would not have occurred to either of them that I should go to university. My school wasn't encouraging either, though this was a challenge because in those days you had to sit a special Oxford and Cambridge exam together with a Latin paper if you were going to do any type of art subject. But it simply didn't occur to me that in the early 1970s working class black girls did not go to Oxbridge and I just got on with it. I learned so many things at university, but the most important thing that I learned at Newnham was that girls could do, and then the next word is in capitals for emphasis, absolutely anything. And that belief has powered me through life. I hope the above's not too many words. And I said, Diane, I'm going to be off stage by text. <laughs> it's brilliant. So there you go, that's Diane Abbott for you. And again, you know, watching her on question time when I was here, I think we didn't have our MTV, it was in the, uh, what was that room called, JCR or something that we all would crowd around. Again, you know, we stand on the shoulder of giants. And I think the whole purpose, everyone in this room, you know, we shouldn't be about pulling up the ladder behind us, should we? So do go back to your school, tell them, look, if a little squirt like me can do it, I thought you may be tall, but you can go. <laughs> you know, anyone can do that. Don't be constrained by rubbishy barriers. Any of us can do anything, and, and so go forward and do all these things.